Before getting started with your Unity Laser, we recommend watching the laser safety video first if you haven't already. Thank you for purchasing a Unity ILDA laser projector. In this setup video, we'll help you get your laser set up and running as fast as possible. First, we need to remove the laser projector and all other components from the box. You should have your Unity laser projector, PowerCon cable, ILDA cable, 3-pin XLR cable, e-stop button, keys, and the user interlock. Before connecting the power, we'll first need to connect our e-stop button and safety interlock. Using the interlock, we'll plug it into this port on the e-stop button, then plug one set of the safety keys in and turn it on. Then we'll connect the e-stop button to the laser projector by using the three-pin XLR cable and use a second set of keys to plug into the projector. Now we can plug in the power by connecting the PowerCon cable to the back of the projector and the other end into an outlet. Finally, you will want to twist up on the e-stop button and press the start button until both LEDs turn on. This will turn on similar LEDs on the back side of the projector. To be sure everything is set up correctly, you should see the following LEDs, power and start. Now that your laser projector is powered and ready to go, we are ready to connect to the PC. But what if you have more than one laser? Well, you can use what is known as daisy chaining to link the e-stop, control signal, and power between multiple lasers. On the back of the laser, you can see outputs for e-stop, ILDA signal, and power. For the e-stop, you can use the included 3-pin DMX cable to link from the first laser to the second. Just like with the e-stop, we can use the included ILDA cable to link from the first laser into the second. Though, it's important to note, since the ILDA protocol only carries one control signal, any laser you daisy chain using ILDA from one laser to another will output the exact same content on the second. This is known as shared control. However, if we added another FB3 instead of linking our ILDA cable to the second laser, we could control the lasers using independent control, meaning each laser can output their own separate content as seen here. In case you're a little bit confused, here's a side-by-side -side comparison of shared control versus independent control. It's also possible to daisy chain the power from one laser to another, but you will need a separate PowerCon to PowerCon cable, which is not included with the projector. Now that we've covered the different setups for the laser projector, let's move on to configuring the software. If you don't already have QuickShow installed in your PC, visit pangolin.com slash pages slash downloads and download QuickShow full version. Once downloaded, run and install the software. Once that is finished, grab your FP3QS and plug it into your PC. And if you haven't, plug the ILDA cable from the laser into the FP3QS. The final setup should look something like this. Now that's done, let's start up QuickShow. Since our hardware is connected to the PC, QuickShow should open without any issues. During your first time opening QuickShow, it'll prompt you to go through a first time setup wizard. Feel free to click whichever type of user you are, However, we recommend choosing Advanced User. Next, we need to select the scan speed for the laser projector. For Unity projectors, we recommend selecting High Performance. After that, select 3 Laser RGB Projector. And lastly, click Analog Color System. Before we can output laser content, we will need to ensure that our control hardware has been registered. If your PC is connected to the internet, this will be done automatically you'll see two green bars in the bottom left of QuickShow, which lets you know if it has been registered. If your PC is offline, you will need to register manually. Check out the video on registration in QuickShow 5.0 to learn how to register offline. Finally, to make sure everything is working correctly, let's output some laser content. Click on Enable Laser Output at the top right to allow laser output. Then you can click on any of the cues in the grid and they will output to predefined zones. You are now free to use QuickShow with your Unity laser system. If you still have questions about setup, feel free to contact our support system by emailing support at pangolin.com. And thank you for watching.